On this video, I'm going to show you how to take an Inkscape and create a simple sign. Our sign is going to say barn. This will also show you how to take the font and keep the center of the font letters from falling out like O's and B's and A's. First what we're going to want to do is open up our Inkscape inches file. We made this in a previous video so every time we open it up our Inkscape will be already set in inches. Next after we open that up we're going to want to go over here to the A for our font. I'm going to go over here and select our font. I'm going to select demonized. Then I'm going to type barn. B-A-R-N. Next I'm going to hit the selection tool. Then I'm going to blow this up so it's easier to work on. Next, I'm going to take and highlight this, go to object, I mean path, object to path. Then, I'm going to go over here to view, display mode, I'm going to select outline. Next, what I'm going to want to do is break this apart since it's grouped right now still. So, I'm going to go right here, double click and now I just broke it apart I'll show you how to do that again so once all selected you'll just double click and it'll break it apart okay now what we're going to want to do is zoom into this then we're going to take our square tool what this is going to do is we're going to basically make a square here 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 and here and then we're going to have this program automatically cut out all this empty space we don't want to keep this center in so I'll go ahead and draw my squares Next, what we're going to want to do is zoom out. Going to hit our selection tool right here. I'm going to go and hit shift on the keyboard, click on the perimeter. Then I'm going to hit shift on the keyboard and click on this square. Then, what we're going to want to do is go to path and hit difference. Now, you can see that automatically cut that out. We're going to do the same again click on this square path difference then we'll go to the A click on this square path difference click on this and click on this square path difference click on this R click on this square path difference now if we were to export this now it would cut out these letters next what we're going to want to do is make our square around this so I'm just going to make a simple square now what we need to do is scale this so I'm going to get our selection tool click on the bottom left drag it over then I'm going to make the width 15 inches wide and the height 8 inches. Then I'm going to take my X, zero that out, my Y, zero that out. Now it's on the bottom left of the material. Next, what I'm going to do is make our two little holes to mount this sign with. So I'm just going to go over here, make a hole, let's say it's going to be quarter inch, 0 0.25 width, 0 0.25 height. Then I'm going to click on that and then right click copy, right click again, paste. 
And I'm just eyeballing these two holes. You could take the time and center them if you wanted to. Then after that, you go to File, Save As. Since we've already scaled this, we can save this as an SVG file. So I'm going to name this Barn. I'm going to save it. Minimize this. Go over to SheCam. Open SheCam up. Then I'm going to take and go to File, Import Drawing. We're going to import our barn files at SVG. Scaling 1 to 1, drawing position bottom left, and there's our sign. Thank you for watching.